Hey, what's up? Today, I'm going to show you how to search a CMS collection using FinSuite attributes. And we're going to do it fast. All right, let's hop into it. Quick look at the agenda. We're going to set up the Webflow project. We are going to implement FinSuite attributes. Just we're going to do just search for this one. And then I'm going to show you a little bit how you can fine tune it. All right. So I'm in Webflow here. This is just a blank starter page. Let's go ahead and we'll start by making the CMS collection. I'm just going to use the blog post template up here. So I got that. It's going to create us for us a body, a summary, an image, thumbnail, featured. We don't really need all that, but I'm going to go ahead and create it. And let's add 10 items. So that's creating the sample inventory for us. All right, we've got all those. That is good. Let's go ahead and in pages here, I'm going to make a blog page. We just got a blank page. So I already have this container class, which is just 100% width, 40 rem, max width, and then auto margin. It's just to center everything. Put a heading, call it blog. And now let's get our collection list, drop it in the container. And we're going to pull from blog posts. I'm going to go to the list. I'm going to make it a grid. Within the collection item, I'm going to have a link block. Where's link block, link block? Oh, come on. Why can't I find it? Am I crazy? There it is. So we got a link block. We're going to have this link to the current blog post. We will put an image in there. The image we'll get from blog posts. Just take the main image. Uh, yeah, we'll take the main image. And we'll have that span 100%, a max height of 12 rem. And this we want to span 100% as well. And we'll set that to cover. We will put a heading in here. Make it an H2. Get the text from the post name. Let's get rid of the link block default styling. So we don't want any underline. And then we'll make the text color something, something like that. Mm. Let's add a little bit more spacing here. And then we'll just give the whole link a background just so you can kind of see it. Not going to worry too much about the styling on this. Well, maybe I am. Some things are bugging me. Uh, on the heading, I'm just going to add a little bit of padding here. OK, good enough. So we've got the link block. And then I'll go to the blog template page, container. We will make it h1. We'll get the title from that. Uh, let's throw an image in there. Why not? Just so you can see. And then we'll get the rich text element to throw the body text in there. And we'll make sure that's pulling from the CMS as well. Go back to the blog. That's everything we need for page setup. Back to the agenda. FinSuite attributes implementation. This is the CMS filter attributes on the FinSuite website. Step one, copy the code here. Don't forget step one. And we'll go to our page on blog here. We're going to add that right in the head tag. Copy, paste, and save. Moving on to step two. All right, we just have to start adding our attributes now. So I want to filter the content of this collection list. And I need to get this, uh, this name for the attribute and the value. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my site. And then we want to put it on the collection list. 
So that's this one, hit the gear icon, and down here in the attributes section, I'm gonna add that, and the value is list. I'm just getting that value from this one here. So you could copy paste that and bring it over as well. Always good to copy paste, that way you can avoid your typos. Uh, moving on to step two here, filters. I want this form or form block to have filter UI elements. Okay, so this is where we add our um, filter elements, as just stated. I'm gonna use a search here. For that, we'll use an input. So let me add that to our website here. So I need a form block, I need a form block. There it is. Put that right above the collection. I'm gonna delete, delete, delete. I'm gonna hide the submit button. You can delete it too, it doesn't matter. Pretty sure, pretty sure about that, but don't quote me. And we'll put some placeholder text just to give the user something to work off of. And okay, our form is in. I'm gonna head back here. And so I need to add this attribute, attribute, attribute or attribute. Somebody correct me, correct me in the comments. Gonna copy and paste that there. And the value I believe is filters. Let's just double check that. Value is filters, yes, okay. Save. So that has been saved. And now this can be the tricky part, the field identifier. You have to add this to the filter UI and to the CMS item. So there's a couple things you can do here. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. And within the text field, so this is the input element that we have. I'm gonna add that attribute. And I'm gonna say, let's search by heading. Cause that's all we have to search by right now is the heading. And then within the CMS collection list itself, go in the item and what you want. Like, so say I type design, I wanna filter anything with the word design in it, um, which is gonna be almost all of these. <laughs> uh, anyways, so let's get the heading here and I'm gonna add the attribute there, and it has to have the same name, so I'm gonna call it heading as well. And that should be everything. Let's go ahead and publish. Design, that's not a good example. Let's search by 100. Yeah, there it is, 10, 100. So you see how that kind of is filtering, and then I can click, and it takes me to this one here. Now let's say we wanna actually filter by the text that's in the blog. Right now, if I go back, if I search for said, I don't get any results. And the reason is because it has nothing within the, the CMS collection here to actually search. So the way you can do that is let's add that same rich text. We're gonna add it, but we can't add it in a link block, so I'm gonna add it outside of the link block. It's okay, as long as it's in the collection item, you'll be just fine. We're gonna make this pull from the CMS. So post body, but obviously not very good uh, design to have that sitting right there. So we're just gonna hide it and we can hide it, but it'll still be on the page. I'll show you that in inspector. And now we also need to change how we search. So this needs its own identifier attribute. Oops, forgot I had copied that. So let's grab that and then paste it in there. And we'll just call this body text. But now I also have to update this. I think we can comma separate these. Let's give that a shot. And I'll go ahead and publish. And I wanna get, I don't know, I wanna get something that's pretty specific. A lot of this Latin duplicates itself on different pages. So we'll open that again. I'll close this old one. Let's just paste that. So now we have the same one with the pizza on there. And it's searching by the text that's in the body. So let's go back. One last thing I can show you is that if you just wanna search everything, this text field search here, you can, rather than comma separating your identifiers, you can put a star, save, and we'll publish. So, so it's still searching the heading. And then if I also search that crazy Latin, you get that. And that is everything you need to know. If we look at CMS filter for Webflow here, there's a bunch of options that you can customize as well. So I'm not gonna get into that. This is just a quick intro on getting everything hooked up and started. Uh, if there's any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll have the link there. 
And thank you so much. If this helped, please consider uh, liking the video or subscribing and look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye now.